Today, with this motion debate, we are happy to take in views from members. Thank you very much. Ms. Claudia Mo, I find it very regrettable. I've been in LegCo for six years. I do think that um, this is the most um, ridiculous emotion that is there to toady up to the mainland authorities. Article 5 of the Basic Law states that, um, well, Hong Kong's um, way of life shall remain unchanged for 50 years. 50 years, where well, we still have our own language, when we use a different passport and a different currency system. Well, let's look at what is happening to Hong Kong now. People want to speed up mainlandization. If you want to speed up the integration between Hong Kong and the mainland, that means you're trying to speed up the death of the one country, two system. Well, you have um, uh, hundreds of um, trillions of dollars. We have a number of um, schemes to import talent from the mainland. You spend a lot of money on things that will benefit the mainland. But when it comes to uh, benefiting Hong Kong people's livelihood, no. About the various uh, mega projects, we have the XRL project, we have the Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge, and don't forget the Lok Ma Chao Loop. And now there is this Bay Area. Where is Hong Kong? You talk about tourism. Don't forget that the number of uh, visit visitors a year is about $60 million. A lot of countries, not cities, just a three to four, uh, 30 to 40 million people a year. Please don't push Hong Kong over the cliff. Don't try, don't change Hong Kong to beyond re uh, any recognition. When it comes to Dongjiang water, we proposed a desalination plant in Chongquan O. They said that uh, they said they would think about it to try to drag their feet, but it is about a project cost of uh, $10 billion. Now we have uh, hot, but albeit very dry season. In the future, if there is a shortage of Dongjiang water, and if we have to compete for water supplies with the mainland, then we're on the opposing side with them. So. Um, you, on one hand, you spend hundreds of um, trillions of dollars on uh, mega projects, and you drag your feet when it comes to a desalination plant of just uh, ten billion dollars. Well, we have um, the red capital invading Hong Kong. Well, there was uh, McDonald's, and now land being sold to a lot of um, mainland companies. I just look at the um, portfolio, the constituents of uh, Hang Seng Index, you know what is going on. On the level on the level of uh, culture, we have Putong we have Putong Hua, we have uh, simplified characters and the liaison office taking over a lot of publishing companies. In twenty eighteen you promote the Hong Kong Macau, Guangdong Hong Kong Macau Bay Area. Do you think Hong Kong will st still exist in 2047? No, Lo Hin Yi Yun. Mr. Ao Nok Hin. Thank you, Madam Deputy. I would like to uh, express my views in relation to this motion. Well, the um, development of the Bay Area is a main development area. They talk about uh, removing barriers to uh, promote the flow of uh, people, capital, and information. There are three different uh, administrative regions in the Bay Area. That is not seen in other Bay Areas. Uh, we are very different from the other two 
administrative areas. As, so if you want to promote flow of information and people and capital, there will be a lot of conflicts. And if you want to promote integration and uh, unification, I think that uh, there will be a lot of um, that will uh, give rise to a lot of suspicion. Different loyalists said that um, they want to solve Hong Kong's uh, so housing problem by moving people over to the Bay Area in the um, uh, one hour living circle and other areas, say for example, Zhuhai. Well, if you want um, an exodus of Hong Kong people, it will involve change of policy, say for example, uh, national treatment, uh, education, health care. Ms. Eunice Young said that uh, there needs to be a Bay Area permit. And then I thought, is it the case that uh, Hong Kong people want a special privilege in the Bay Area or, in the end, that it, it will be a trade-off? Say, for example, on uh, tax, um, tax treatment or just a, a, a way of life. Well, there is a saying, uh, literally, is... Um, you will uh, provide the chicken and I will provide soy sauce. It means that uh, in the end, although by the looks of it, I pay less, but still, I will end up having to pay more than you do. Well, let's look at uh, Hong Kong people working and pursuing their career in the Bay Area. Well, to put it bluntly, you just want to move low-end population who cannot afford to live in Hong Kong to the mainland. To make room for professionals from the mainland to come to Hong Kong. Does it mean that uh, we will have to offer Hong Kong citizen uh, treatment to these people? Hong Kong's uniqueness, special characteristics and culture, will, it, will, it, will they be diluted as a result? Beijing wants uh, to integrate Hong Kong in terms of uh, our culture and our way of life. Hong Kong people living uh, on the mainland will have to be subject to mainland laws and regulations and rules. It's just like what the official said, that uh, different places have different customs. Can they still use WhatsApp? Well, there is um, the uh, social security um, uh, that is the social credit um, system. Well, will they, will they apply to Hong Kong people? Would it be the case that they can't uh, buy train tickets and they can't even come back to Hong Kong? There is lack of um, pro protection of a person's uh, safety on the mainland. That means you will always live in fear and uncertainty. You want to improve the exchange of um, people, so you will have to open up the immigration and customs. Uh, a director of a research institute on Shenzhen said that s immigration and customs uh, should be simplified in order to find uh, more facilitating uh, ways to develop, uh, to move ahead. but. Will we continue to see a lot of uh, similar issues as collocation? I noticed that in Mr. Jeffrey Lamb's motion, he talks about um, professional qualification, mutual recognition. That is one huge challenge faced in the Bay Area. Hong Kong professionals um, don't have the mutual recognition systems, uh, say, for example, because of a different system. Hong Kong lawyers can't practice on the mainland. I find it strange that, uh, well, when a Hong Kong uh, citizen obtains uh, prof obtain legal um, professional professional qualification on the mainland, they can only participate in limited um, areas. Is it because they are afraid that Hong Kong uh, Hong lawyers who are Hong Kong people will um, deal with uh, activist cases? And in the future, does it mean that? Um, Lawyers from the mainland will get recognized for their uh, professional qualifications here. So when it comes to professional qualification as well as um, immigrations and customs, well, we do need to keep the gate. A lot of mainland enterprises come to Hong Kong to uh, to get listed because in Hong Kong we have a better and more mature system. 
When it comes to professional qualification, mutual, mutual recognition, it means that it will be the norm. We are concerned that uh, we will, will we are concerned about the prof, uh, level of professionalism of uh, mainland people coming to work to Hong Kong. We see majority of uh, traffic infrastructure being built. We don't think that uh, these may, these mega structures will be able to uh, cover cost. These are white elephant projects. It seems that uh, they are there to just to please um, mainland China. And I would like to cite that the director of the Hong Kong Education University, he wrote this as, uh, a few years ago. He talked about uh, opportunities on the mainland. He said that starting from 2004, well, there has been a decreasing number of Hong Kong people working on the mainland. He studied the uh, issue. He spoke to the uh, business sector, and they thought that, well, there is not a lack of um, uh, mainland uh, talent. However, they are concerned that uh, there will be a, de de a, a, sh a shrunk a pool of talent in Hong Kong, and there will be manpower shortage here. Can the Bay Area take good care of uh, the needs of people pursuing career on the mainland? I doubt it. Thank you. Mr. Frank Yeh, Madam Deputy, Premier Li Keqiang of the, the State Council promulgated in 2014 the development plan of the Bay Area and in 2017 a framework agreement on deepening collaboration on the um, Bay Area was signed and the framework agreement serves to facilitate the um, complement of advantages of the three places and Hong Kong will continue to reinforce its role as the international finance, aviation and logistics hub and the Liberal Party believes that the Bay Area development can um, create more business for our industries, including logistics and aviation. That's why we must exploit such opportunities. Of the 10 busiest ports in the world, three of them, Hong Kong, Shenzhen, and Guangzhou, are in the Bay Area. And we have the Guangzhou, Baiyun Airport, Zhuhai Airport, Macau International Port. There are five airports in total international airports in the area if um without a lack without the coordination there might be um confusion the development plan would um paint the outline for the developments and with the um development plan published there would be further discussion on how to deepen cooperation between the three places in the bay area I believe different um, members will speak on different areas today, and I would focus on logistics. The Bay Area is a manifestation of one country, two systems, and under one country, two systems, Hong Kong people and companies are seen as foreigners and foreign companies. And um, our cross boundary um, cargo drivers are seen as foreigners. That's why they have to secure both Hong Kong, relevant Hong Kong and mainland licenses, and they are subject to same insurance and inspection requirements. And the cross boundary vehicles have to pay $100,000 in an additional fee. Since Premier Lee indicated that the Bay Area development would allow. Hong Kong and Macau residents who eventually enjoy equal treatment as mainland citizens. The SAL government should urge the mainland authorities to acknowledge the driving licenses of cross-boundary drivers, and um, this would alleviate the shortage of um, truck drivers, and the um, usage fees should be waived, just like in Macau. The Liantang Hen Wai BCP would be commissioned this year and with the commissioning of that of the new port, the Shadowcock and Long Ma Chao ports would be redeveloped 
So in the future, the flow of um, cargo would mainly take place in the west and the Lantan Hanyu Wai BCP with the um, complete facilities in Lama Chao and Sha Tao Court and the um, Lama Chao port is open around the clock. With the closure of these two ports, the um, facilitates at the other ports might not be able to satisfy the needs to facilitate cross-boundary freight between Hong Kong and the mainland. There should be more 24-hour boundary control points and there's, the government should maintain close communication on the development of these ports. That way we can avoid a repeat of the Shenzhen Bay port when it was commissioned. Hong Kong International Airport is one of the busiest airports in the world. In terms of um, passenger volume, it ranks third. And in terms of um, cargo volume, it's top. And the um, network enjoys an edge over other airports. And um, more than 90% of the um, exports come from the mainland. So Hong Kong is an important um, entrepot. But the international airport is near saturation, so it's um, essential to build a third runway. We can um, complement with the Zhuhai International Airport, and the Hong Kong International Airport enjoys some um, comprehensive international routes, and it can dovetail with Zhuhai. With the um, commissioning of the Hong Kong Joint Macau Bridge, a China-Hong Kong aviation network can be built to connect to 170 international cities, and this can facilitate the development of e-commerce and opportunities from the Bay Area. These are only examples of our collaboration and um, for financial services, tourism, and logistics, so long as they are conducive to the Bay Area developments, the Liberal Party would be supportive. Some members said that the SAR government should be the center of the um, Bay Area development. The Liberal Party does not agree. This is against um, the. This is not in line with the uh, complementary advantages. When the development plan of the Bay Area is promulgated, the Liberal Party would identify collaboration opportunities and we would work together for the future of Hong Kong. Thank you. Mr. Ronick, Dr. Mr. Ronick Chen, the Bay Area is one of the um, most um, powerful and internationalized regions of China and it's a forerunner and engine of the national economic development. As of the end of 2017, the total GDP of the cities amount to one billion, one trillion, um, which exceeded the New York Bay Area. As for two, as of two, 2025, the GDP might exceed the um, Tokyo Bay Area to become the most powerful Bay Area in the world. We have within the Bay Area, we have Hong Kong, which is one of the three main financial centers of the world, and Shenzhen ranks 20, and Guangzhou, which ranks 32nd. And um, you can find all sorts of financial activities in this area. The scale of the financial services is already world class, and um, at the end of 2017, the total assets of the banks in the three places amount to um, 70. Seven seven thousand billion U.S. dollars, and the total deposits amount to four point seven thousand billion dollars, which um, exceeded the um, San Francisco Bay Area for the insurance industry. Um, they exceed one hundred twenty-eight billion U.S. dollars, the equivalent to one fourth of the total insurance premium of the country, and the mar market volume of the um, Shenzhen main board exceed five billion dollars and all these lay foundations for the um, financial developments of the Bay Area. Under the Van Road Initiative, um, internationalization of the renminbi and liberalization of trade, Hong Kong is an international financial hub and major offshore renminbi hub. This would um, place synergy to make the Bay Area 
one of the freest and most um, li liberal um, regions, and it will become a main financial hub of the Belt and Road. Madam Deputy, capital is not the main issue with the main with the Bay Area development. The key is to um, remove barriers in our systems. We should um, innovate the system, and in the future, Guangdong, Hong Kong, and Macau should focus on um, different areas of financial services to further deepen collaboration within the Bay Area. First, we must develop innovative um, finance, and there should be greater integration. Entrepreneurship and risk-based investment would be key, and they would be important for the entire Bay Area. They can drive innovation and technology, creative industries, asset management, etc., and these can further develop. These would provide more opportunities for our financial services, and we must also develop Baron Road finances, and we must build a financing platform. The Baron Road Initiative requires substantial funds, and by 2030, the ADB or Asian Development Bank will invest a total of 2.6 trillion U.S. dollars, and the um, de development on the Baron Road has become a trend, and through um, equities and shares or direct and indirect financing, financing options can be provided for corporations that are um, going global. We must um, facilitate finance finances in the Bay Area as well for Hong Kong people. And one of the goals of the Bay Area is to create a livable and quality living circle with the um, XRL and Hong Kong Macau Bridge. The there will be a well a one hour living circle will be created in the Bay Area and um, foreigners living in Hong Kong can work, study, travel, sightsee or live in the Bay Area and Hong Kong people and companies that invest in the Bay Area and there would be more and more cross boundary payment services available. This has to do with different um, regulations and policies on um, regulating financial services in the mainland and Hong Kong. These should be tackled one by one, and we should focus on the easier measures first. We must um, offer cross-boundary facilitation measures for Hong Kong people, including creating accounts in the PRD for Hong Kong people, creating transportation and payment options, healthcare financing, cross-boundary payment, um, remittance, etc. Um, these should be extended both ways to facilitate the Bay Area. Finally, on green finance, there should be low-carbon, sustainable um, developments. Green finance should be an area of focus. Hong Kong is poised to um, issue green bonds and develop green finance. Hong Kong can become the top green finance hub on the mainland and create and it can offer financing support to create a greener Bay Area. Innovative finance, um, Baton Road or, or Silk Road finance, these are some of the um, key areas and the three places should exploit these opportunities and reinforce the um, leadership of the Bay Area and it should become a major global financial hub. I would support Mr. Jeffrey Lamb's motion and the amendments from other members that are conducive to developing the Bay Area. Thank you. Mr. Raymond Chan. Thank you, Madam Deputy. For the Bay Area, it is like a, a share in this dark market. Well, well, some people are all optimistic about it, others are more critical and cynical. 
But well, whether it's the pro-establishment um, media, TV stations, parties, and even the government have been promoting the Bay Area. Now, as these three words are, uh, the, the this term is a panacea and can help resolve all of Hong Kong's problems. Many pro-establishment members think that if we are to develop Bay Area for those who would like to defend Hong Kong's values, um, core values that should be uh, should be moving to Bay Area, and then the new uh, generation, like uh, people who take photos in the, in the court, again stay, and then Hong Kong can surpass the San Francisco Bay, the Japan, uh, Tokyo um, Bay Area, and it will become the um, most populated Bay Area. I've watched uh, the TV programs, the episodes on um, going into Bay Area, and I suggest that uh, the pan-democratic pan peers can also watch this. We can be critical when we watch the programs. It's all right, but then the pro-establishment camp members are pro uh, proposing, uh, promoting Bay Area, which is different from Tokyo, Bay Area, San Francisco, and New York Bay Area. Well, the, the the area there, the Bay Area, are under a uniform system. Say, Yokohama and Tokyo are under the same legal system. It's a free democratic system where there is free, o infl free flow of information. Whether you live in Yokohama or Tokyo, you are subject to the legal, same legal system. You have freedom of uh, speech, freedom of religious beliefs. So it doesn't mean that if you leave uh, Tokyo, you will not be able to um, go uh, browse Google. And if you leave Tokyo, you will have no lawyer to defend you. And uh, if you leave your own city, then uh, you can't bring your own Bible, etc. The same happens in other overseas Bay areas. But so because of this, um, people would like uh, are willing to live in these uh, cities in the Bay Area, and these the different cities uh, complement each other. And as a result, they have become uh, major regional economic powerhouses. But can Bay Area uh, be like, say, the Tokyo Bay Area and the San Francisco area and play a very uh, major significant role in the world economy? We have a uh, query about that. The Bay Area uh, includes Guangzhou and PPRD. In terms of population, well, it has a larger population than Bay, Tokyo Bay, uh, San Francisco, and New York Bay. But in terms of uh, free flow of information, rule of law, freedom of speech, etc., apart from Hong Kong, the other cities in the Bay Area are far lagging behind. So. If you ask Hong Kong people to go into a pl to go to the place and live there for a long time without uh, pro uh, protection of personal safety, the rule of law is subject to query, and public security officers can grab anything from you. And if you ask for a return of the objects, then you will be attacked. So it's difficult to ask people to do that. So if you want top-notch people to go to Bay Area, it's even more difficult because they are not even sure whether the food is safe. Of course, well, there, there are uh, TV programs uh, complementing the Bay Area, promoting the Bay Area, and they say that uh, a good model will be sort of replicated in the Bay Area. We want to say, in terms of food safety, um, introduce a Hong Kong model, an overseas model into the Bay Area, and as a result, enhancement can be made. And as a result, um, enterprises in the Bay Area can um, have an advantage and develop well. So this is uh, the pro side of Bay Area um, promoted by some. But then you may think Hong Kong has a freedom of law and we can complement to the Bay Area. But from 1997 up to now, the Chinese government has uh, been undermining Hong Kong's advantages in those regards um, through interpretation of the basic law. The CBG would instruct the um, Hong Kong government what to do, and um, the, the rule of law is disappearing, and it is trying to uh, control the different spheres of the society, um, um, hand, 
uh, undermining the freedom of uh, press, and then there would be an, an action, enactment of legislation on Article 23, and freedom of information is going to be further eroded. And even overseas people think that Hong Kong would not be so free and democratic as it used to be like. Well, in that case, and Hong Kong can really integrate with the Bay Area because in terms of rule of law, freedom of information, we are no different from other cities. But what will happen to Hong Kong? Hong Kong will just become an ordinary, another, any other city um, of the mainland. I mean, is this what was in the mind of the pioneers of the CPP? No, it's a Tang Xiaoping or Xi Zhonghun. Uh, Xun, they would like uh, Hong Kong to help uh, drive the um, reform in the structure and system of the of the whole nation, if not um, at least uh, Guangdong. In 1997, Xi Zhongxin said that if Hong Kong was an independent state, it would um, really uh, be developing well, very well. But it is not so. But if Guangdong was an independent state, it would overtake Hong Kong. So I'm not talking about independence issue. So Xi Jinping knew very well that if Hong Kong was to follow the outdated model and system of Guangdong, then it would, uh, of, it will, it will um, undermine uh, the potential of the Hong Kong. And in fact, Guangdong um, was at the forefront at the mainland, and it's um, the because ideology. Um, Text president, so Guangdong is not developing as well as it could. Now, if Hong Kong's freedom really um, is protected in all cities of Bay Area, then we will accept the Bay Area, and then uh, Bay Area can become um, a, an, a, an economic region with good hardware and software. Miss Alice Mack, I would like to uh, respond to Slow Beats, Mr. Raymond Chan's response. Well. There is a saying that uh, one can never be at the top all the time. We have to be um, forward looking. And when we talk about the development of a country, well, just don't say that uh, you will be dragged on, dragged down by others uh, near you. Now, coming back to this motion. Now the country is developing well. Major and small enterprises and universities are, um, are, are going into the mainland to establish a presence, and people are trying to seek opportunities in the main mainland. Hong Kong has a di different development course. Many people are saying that Hong Kong has been marginalized because of our political bickering in terms of creative industries, IT, and other livelihood issues. We are um, coming to a standstill. If we are to keep our edge, we have to explore new opportunities, and we must make the best use of the advantage under one country, two systems. Hong Kong has a good pool of talents, and we, are, we have have the advantage of uh, the mainland behind us, so we can uh, give full play to our advantages, and we can also go to the mainland to explore opportunities. The State Council is now scrutinizing the development of city cluster at the Bay Area. Hong Kong will be included into this um, Bay Area, and Hong Kong will be um, integrated into the mainland economy under the plan. So it's not lo like what Ms. Claudia Mo said. We are um, trying to bootlicking each other. No. Well, unless she thinks that if we go into the main Bay Area, only others will benefit. Actually, it will be a mutual benefit show situation. Uh, we can uh, seize hold of the opportunities. We work together with the mainland cities. We can come up with new development opportunities. For professionals in Hong Kong, they will have ample room for development there. If this is not the case, the Hong Kong government will not have um, been using SEPA to promote the mutual recognition of professionals professions. In 2003, the surveyors have started mutual recognition. And then a few years later, architects, planners, and structural engineers uh, have also got mutual recognition. Um, now, if we think that we will only benefit others if we integrate into the Bay Area, then our professionals would not have embarked on mutual recognition under SEPA earlier. I hope that they can set a, cast a, put down their bias. 
and we, such a development will do all goods to Hong Kong's uh, professions and long-term development. In fact, many sectors, including finance, legal construction, and shipping, well, they have all along been asking for relaxation of mutual recognition of professions. And the trade and the government have been working very hard on that front. So, for, for example, under the, pro, uh, the efforts of the EAA States Agents Authority, well, the mutual recognition was extended last year, and for the mutual recognition of professions was being uh, promoted by the government. And in many sectors, there has already been mutual recognition of uh, qualifications. But we understand that uh, for some trades uh, where uh, skills and techniques are involved, they hope also their qualifications can be recognized by the mainland, including, say, the hairdressing, um, uh, beauty services, and uh, catering industry. Now, say, for example, catering industry uh, in the QF in Hong Kong, we do not recognize qualifications obtained in other places, but uh, two different standards are being adopted for QF. And if the QF and the state um, certification are uh, mutually recognizable, in other words, those who hold the national uh, certificates in the mainland can come and serve as uh, chefs. And at the same time, if uh, Hong Kong chefs uh, uh, QF qualifications can be recognized in the mainland, then that would be good. But we know that the relevant organizations are not working hard enough to promote mutual recognition. Some people will say that we would like the nation to recognize our qualifications, QF qualifications, but we will not recognize uh, the national qualifications ourselves. So there is no mutual recognition. So that's a non-starter. And as a result, the chefs will not get mutual recognition of their qualifications. Some others said otherwise. They they said that there is a, that there, well, for the Chinese Culinary Institute under the VTC, they are uh, uh, launching one exam um, to get certification on both sides. However, for that kind of arrangement, it doesn't mean it is. It is not equivalent to mutual recognition of uh, qualifications. In other words, you have to uh, pay for um, extra tuition fees or exam fees. So, examiners from both sides do not have to be involved. Now, as long as they pass the exam here, then the exam results can be recognized in both places. Well, so they have to pay a fees for one exam only, and they don't have to pay um, fees in both places. So that's uh, easier to to be impl that's easily um implemented and for the hairdressing and beauty care services. Uh, we are talking about uh, one exam covering three places, which well, is just not Hong Kong and mainland, but other places as well. And for the national certificates, I mean, they are recognized by other um, countries as well. If our qualifications can be recognized by the mainland, then it means that our, our qualification qualifications can be recognized, say, in Germany, U.S., Korea, etc. So we think that kind of arrangement is good for workers in Hong Kong. Dr. Bian Chen proposed an amendment to um, cancel mutual recognition. We don't agree to that because it will hinder the development of our professionals and affect the chances of workers having their qualifications being recognized on the mainland. Well, I know that he's talking about um, doctors. Please stop. Mr. Lee. President, we have waited so long for the um, framework for Bay Area, and of course, yet it is not with us yet. But I'd like to thank Mr. Jeffrey Lam from mo for moving this major debate on the Bay Area. And this debate has attracted 14 amendments, uh, one of the motions with the most amendments in recent times at LegCo. And uh, this is a hot topic indeed. In order to welcome 
the development framework for the Bay Area, the DAB released two reports recently, and that is um, national treatment with early and pilot implementation. The other one is policies benefiting Hong Kong people. And we have proposed dozens of um, recommendations. We have uh, wasted no time to talk to the governor of the People's Government of Guangdong Province, Mr. Ma Xing Roy. And also at the two sessions, we put forward 32 proposals so that we can secure more benefits for Hong Kong people when they live, study, work, and travel in the Bay Area so that young people and SMEs can have another choice so that they can have upward mobility with a leapfrog uh, fashion. Even if we do not have the development framework yet, I hope the Secretary and the central authorities can do the following. I would not repeat what other members have said. Ms. Anne Chang has already uh, given a specific portrayal of our thinking. First of all, the XLL Hong Kong section will be commissioned soon. It links up Hong Kong with the entire railway network of the country, just as uh, what you said, Mr. Secretary. The um, ticketing arrangement for XLL has sparked certain unnecessary debate, but it is easy, isn't it? If Hong Kong people can buy e-ticket online and the e-ticket can be sent to the portable phones of Hong Kong people online, and this will resolve all the ticketing problems, including tickets to all cities in the country. Don't overlook this, because if you want Hong Kong people to be connected to the entire XLL network of the country, you have to do this, and this is something very concrete. Secondly, we have the railway, we have the bridge, we have the cross-border points, but then you also have to pay. I always do informal surveys. Not many Hong Kong people have um, tap and go or Alipay accounts of the mainland. I did a study and I wanted to buy some soft drink um, at the machine uh, somewhere in Hong Kong and it did not accept online payment. The thing is, even if you have a bridge, you have the railway, but you do not have a convenient way to pay, it will not facilitate Hong Kong people working and studying in the Bay Area. It's so easy, isn't it? We have someone from the banking sector. If Hong Kong people can be permitted to go to the Bank of China in Hong Kong or on the mainland, and then they can open an, a mainland account, and if that can be linked up with um, any payment system online in the mainland, then you can already remove a lot of inconvenience. I hope you will do everything to do this. And in the medium and long term, if the Bay Area can provide some breakthrough for young people and SMEs, I think you'll have to look into two points. Number one, taxation. Many colleagues have mentioned this, and I won't go into details, but you must admit if Hong Kong people work on the mainland, and if the tax rate difference is so big, Hong Kong people's uh, desire will be very much dampened. I'd like you to, first of all, deal with the um, threshold of 183 days. This is not about national treatment, but if you don't resolve this point, the Bay Area development would be um, affected. And also earlier on, we proposed that through the Bay Area development, we can take care of um, deep-seated conflicts in Hong Kong, uh, including the building of a Hong Kong village on the mainland. And we are talking about cross-boundary use of resources. If professionals, enterprises, and young people should be able to develop uh, their careers on the mainland, you don't just talk about it. You have to come up with facilitating measures for them to live and, and be able to work and also um, stay on on the mainland. And that can help resolve some deep-seated conflicts in Hong Kong. And also, I don't know whether you have um, noticed the Hong Kong office has 
the、um, office looking after Taiwan affairs on the mainland has announced certain measures. But I believe we can copy those and try to benefit Hong Kong people. Please look into it. And、uh, with what time I'm left with, I like to respond to the opposition camp. They say that we boot lake. They say that when we support the Bay Area development, we are brown nosing. Um, the mainland authorities, but I must say, sorry, this is because you cannot see the crisis faced by Hong Kong. If we try to integrate into the mainland policies, and you say we are bootlegging, then this is really、um, a way that you are arresting your own progress. As you know, Hong Kong has reached a crunch time in our development. Why is it that we have? A、marked time only in our development over the last twenty years. It is because we have closed our doors. We cannot see how we can leverage on the advantage of the mainland's development.、Uh, Macau's GDP, Singapore's GDP have overtaken us, and we have lost our competitive edge as a city. Shenzhen and Guangzhou are catching up fast. If we cannot see these crises, I am afraid that Hong Kong cannot really rest on its past laurels for too long. Miss Claudia Mo said that we should stay unchanged for 50 years. If she has such a narrow interpretation of the Basic Law, then perhaps Miss Claudia Mo, you should use, you should not use、uh, WhatsApp or WeChat. Maybe she doesn't use WeChat. Well, when the Basic Law was formulated, it says there would not be changes in the 50 in 50 years. But then that should not be a barrier for our taking part in the Bay Area. Area development. I hope you will have a positive view. This will afford Hong Kong enterprises and young people a very golden opportunity for development. Miss Elizabeth Quat, President, we have nine cities, and Macau and Hong Kong.、Um, the population totaling totaling almost sixty seven million, with an area of fifty six thousand square kilometers, and the GDP is. Almost 1.3 trillion U.S. dollars, and each place has its own、um, strong points. Compared to the Tokyo Bay Area and the New York Bay Area,、um, the scale is very similar. And in fact, we can、uh, even do better than those two. With the Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge and XLL Hong Kong section to be commissioned, the entire.、Um, Bay Area will be connected with a just two to three hour travel distance, and also we have the particular advantage of one country, two systems. Therefore, Premier Li Keqiang said that if we can give play to our distinct advantages, then we can enhance Hong Kong's status and function in the countries opening up to the world. And if we can have complementarity with one country, two systems, I'm sure all the places in the Bay Area will be able to have a win-win situation, and the Bay Area will become a first-class、uh, city cluster as well as a world-class Bay Area. In order to continue with our development, we must seek a breakthrough、uh, with the crises we are facing, including the very small market locally. That our in Development, business development is quite、um, narrow, and people are saying that we cannot pass on our rest on our past laurels. We must grasp the opportunity of the country's development to further develop ourselves. The Bay Area development is one of the main focus of the country's development, and it is said that it should become an international INT hub. I believe Hong Kong. Can play a very important role in this. We always say that Hong Kong should、uh, give play to what Hong Kong is good at and what the country needs. I'm sure we can work together to resolve social problems in the Bay Area. Now, what is Hong Kong good at? People always say that we do not have a pool of INT talent, but it's obvious now that we do have. Uh, a very good personnel bank. We have world famous scientists doing R and D in Hong Kong. As an international city, we are more attractive to international R and D personnel vis a vis other cities in the Bay Area. Hong Kong is an international financial center, and we also have a, a lot of advantage in terms of fundraising. The country says that we should build our country with education and science. Therefore, when we push for 
developments in core science subjects, uh, we can play a definite role. Actually, we face common problems in the Bay Area. One of the most stringent ones is aging of the population. We face it in Hong Kong, and some countries like Guangzhou all face the same problem. Hong Kong people may want to work, study, and spend the rest of their lives in the Bay Area, but they would face the provision of medical care problem. Hong Kong is a small place, but then our medical system is world famous and it has very high quality. Mainlanders have been attracted to come to Hong Kong to see doctors, and therefore there is a big demand on our medical service. If we want to find something that Hong Kong is good at and that is what the country needs, I would say we should go for medical science. I believe we can spend a lot of effort on this, uh, but because of the time constraint today, I hope I can propose that we should develop a, a big health promotion platform in the Bay Area. In fact, we have the foundation of a lot of technology in Hong Kong and combined with the um, the strength of the Bay Area, we can go for telemedicine and portable technology and also sensory AI and also blockchain and also big data vis-a-vis -vis the application of medical technology and we are seeking to develop robotics in Hong Kong. I believe the application of such um, INT can uh, become the core um, components of medical application, and I'm sure we have an advantage in this. If we can have this combined health promotion platform, um, then we can attract more international R&D um, researchers to Hong Kong. If we have this big health joint platform and combined with the technology I was mentioning, Hong Kong people can leverage on technology in order to do health management, tell them medicine and also tele-treatment. Also in the Bay Area, we'd like to develop a smart community for the elderly. In Hong Kong, we do not have the space to do this. If we can make use of the land availability in the Bay Area and if we can have cooperation of government, academics, researchers, and then if we can build such a smart community for the elderly, I'm sure we can contribute to the solving of the aging population problem and Hong Kong elderly people can have a choice uh, where to spend the rest of their lives. I hope LegCo members and the community will not resist the mainland's development because if we don't grasp the opportunity and we miss that development opportunity, we will not be able to have a second bite of the cherry. Please stop talking. Mr. Chen Kim Paul, previously, uh, some legislators have um, gone to a vi for a visit at the Bay Area so that we can have uh, first hand experience where we have um, the Dong Quan um, High Technology Institute, we have um, uh, artificial intelligence uh, traffic center in Shenzhen. We really have to catch up. I do believe that uh, the Bay Area will be the uh, will be the another drive for Hong Kong's economic development. On the face of it, Hong Kong is still doing well, but uh, our market is shrinking. If we don't try to move ahead, we will uh, fall behind. We've just been taken over by other countries and cities. We have a seriously distorted economic structure. Youngsters don't have um, 
much upward mobility. We do need to explore more opportunities for our youngsters. So the Bay Area will be our main drive for economic development in the future. With the internet, there is no boundary when it comes to market. A market is not just a local market. We can look at um, markets in the Bay Area. There are many opportunities. We have the Hong Kong Johai Macau Bridge and the XRL, so there will be a five-hour living circle. So Hong Kong people can look to work and live in major areas in the Bay Area. We should not restrict ourselves. If you continue to ignore these opportunities and think that uh, we can still rely on ourselves, Hong Kong will be marginalized. Hong Kong is an international financial and uh, trade center. We can provide financial and commercial services to other cities in Bay Area, say, for example, the use of innovation and technology. Our financial services can be further developed. We can also co develop fintech to consolidate our status as the international financial center. There are 300,000 university graduates uh, in uh, the Guangzhou University City. So with this pool of talent will help with R&D. There will be more um, opportunities for our youngsters. Chinese authority is going to announce the Bay Area Development Plan. We look forward to those uh, supporting measures to remove barriers to help people enter the Bay Area to pursue a career to help Hong Kong people to live, study, and start and start their businesses in the mainland area. A lot of uh, enterprises are waiting to pounce. A lot of uh, Hong Kong people, especially youngsters, because they don't. They haven't been to the mainland um, too often, and they have been misled. They may resist going to the mainland. The government will have to do more on publicity and public education. I do believe that if they go to the Bay Area, they will know that there are many opportunities in the, May, in the Bay Area. Misunderstanding will be dispelled. I would like to talk about the expectations of the insurance sector. We hope that the sector can uh, develop can be further developed in the uh, Bay Area. Hong Kong registered companies can enjoy national treatment in the Bay Area so that they can uh, set up wholly owned um, subsidiaries. If that can be implemented, there will be huge development opportunities for the sector. The Federation of Insurers uh, have also made plans uh, by suggesting that uh, Hong Kong insurers can and make use of internet, the internet uh, to sell various insurance policies from the main barrier. There can be an e-platform set up by the Federation of Insurance for people to choose suitable plans. There can be a alliance formed with local hospitals to provide various services. When a platform matures, they can be expanded to a two-way um, operation and extend the uh, scope to outside the Bay Area, especially to remote areas. The merit of this uh, plan is that, uh, well, tran electronic platform is used to conduct transaction. E-payment e can be used. People don't have to be afraid. Uh, well, um, authorities don't have to be afraid of uh, outflow of um, capital. And the internet is used uh, to make an application, to make a claim, uh, to pay premium. This will further promote the development of fintech. We do hope that this can be incorporated into a national development strategy. I so submit. Mr. Vincent Chang. Mr. Lam Kim Fong has moved a motion on strengthening regional collaboration and jointly build the Guangdong Hong Kong Macau Bay area. I would like to talk about this original motion and amendments. According to a 2018 uh, World Economic Report by a Swiss institution, Hong Kong's competitiveness has fallen. Some scholars have said that uh, our competitiveness is not that bad. It's just that the U.S. is doing really well. 
but we should always have a sense of crisis. The financial secretary said that we lag behind technology as well as um, R&D infrastructure. Well, I noticed that uh, one of the factors, uh, that is um, uh, price indices, out of 63 economies, Hong Kong ranks uh, number three, starting from the bottom. So please don't neglect uh, factors uh, such as uh, high rental, high property prices. The NDRC has, uh, will announce uh, the development plan for the Bay Area very soon. Hong Kong is part of the Bay Area. How can Hong Kong have a better division of labor with uh, Macau as well as the nine mainland cities? We need to leverage on our inherent uh, advantage to develop um, business opportunities. Well, we have um, globalization and free flow of uh, capital, talent, and um, information. Well, we do need to make plans and uh, be more act take a more active role to expand the market of the Bay Area. There are 67 million people in the Bay Area. This is a huge market. Hong Kong used to be a center for financial services and financing. And to help mainland enterprises to go global, there are many uh, business opportunities and opportunities for cooperation. There are four uh, four panels of uh, the LegCo conducted uh, a visit to the Ming to the Bay Area. We have uh, visited a number of uh, cities, including Guangzhou, Shenzhen, uh, Dongguan, Foshan. Well, I understand that Shenzhen will be turned into Silicon Valley. Dongguan will be turned into a, a medical base. With the leadership of um, mainland authorities, a lot of resources has been put to develop uh, innovation, technology, and high-end industries. Hong Kong people's uh, horizon should be broadened. We should also um, turn to mainland because we're talking about Bay Area with an area of uh, 56,000 kilometers uh, square kilometers. We need to leverage on the uh, competitive edge of the Bay Area and explore development in all areas so that Hong Kong can benefit uh, from it. There can, there can also be facilitation measures uh, to promote uh, people flow of people. The Hong Kong Johai Macau Bridge will be commissioned this year, and the Hong Kong section of the XRL will be commissioned in the third quarter of this year. From Hong Kong to Guangzhou South, it will take less than half an hour to Macau. It's 45 minutes. You can expect that um, the number of people uh, traveling among in the Bay Area will increase significantly. They can you know, go to work in Guangzhou or Macau. Bay Area residents can come to Hong Kong to uh, to uh, watch a show, spend some money in the West Kowloon, and then take the XRL to go back to Guangzhou. Currently, there is only one border control point that works round the clock, which is in Lok Ma Chau. I do think the administration should uh, consider setting up another 24-hour boundary control point. We need to integrate into the development of the Bay Area. The DAB suggests that uh, in the Bay Area, there can be a think tank set up to be led by the um, central authorities to look into different issues, to formulate policies, action plans to improve uh, the mechanism and to monitor the mechanism. There can be study funds to subsidize uh, the academics, uh, um, civic bodies, and various groups to conduct studies so that uh, opportunities can all be seized. When it comes to innovation and technology, Hong Kong needs to catch up, uh, say, for example, to develop um, um, to develop the more different industries and to uh, improve the opportunities in the river in the uh, Lobachal River loop when it comes to talent in the innovation and technology sector well will they actually come to Hong Kong because we have high property prices and rent this is the time when the secretary can uh, can uh, show us that he's worth his salt the DAB last year made a proposal to the Guangdong Prof, uh, provincial government that uh, Hong Kong government going to work in the mainland can uh, be on a uh, pilot basis given national treatment 
Say, for example, when they open accounts uh, and make a re apply for electronic payments, it will be easier. Well, we uh, currently uh, Hong Kong people have to uh, provide proof of address, which is not easy. The Hong Kong SAR government should help to streamline the uh, procedure. Say, for example, by waiving the proof of address requirement. Uh, cross boundary salaries tax can also help. The last time when I was in the la the Bay Area, I would like to uh, say something. Uh, that was the Open Space Center in Foshan. I came across a number of uh, graduates of uh, City University. Three years ago, they um, started a business uh, to sell bagel and coffee in Guangzhou. They opened two shops. Business was quite well. Then they went to Foshan. The province, uh, the municipal government, provide a very cheap rent for them to continue to develop. Can there be more um, creative center for youngsters so that youngsters uh, will have better opportunities? I so submit. Thank you. Ho Jun Yin Yi Yun. Mr. Stephen Ho. Thank you, Madam Deputy. I'd like to thank Mr. Vincent Chang for his speech. He um, reflected the expectations and hopes of many young people and the DAB. Hong Kong, um, in Hong Kong, there are a lot of people who are spreading wrong political messages, um, leading to fears of the mainland, and um, they have negative or untrue impressions of the mainland. And this has um, stopped them from developing in the mainland. So a, the mental aspect is also um, important. Ms. Claudia Mo has been talking about mainlandization. She said um, there was a promise of not changing in 50 years from her speech, I can see her very shallow understanding of Chinese culture and the Chinese civilization. I wonder if she's even Chinese. Chinese civilization has a history of 5,000 years at the um, Song Dynasty, Yuan Ming and Qing Dynasties. And um, we saw many different civilizations and races. And um, Today, of the 56 ethnicities, only um, them remain, and the Han ethnicity, because um, Chinese culture is very open. You should look at our languages and the history of our languages. There were two um, major um, amalgamations of our language, one about the um, the um, Book of Yi, and the second occasion was an integration of the Japanese language in Chinese. The so-called Chinese language or Cantonese are lots of um, idioms were all um, translated into Chinese during the Tang um, Dynasty and a lot of um, vocabulary came from Japanese. If we had embraced the same attitude at that time, our Chinese language and Cantonese would not be as diverse as they are now. You should not um, close your eyes to the world. And this is why Hong Kong is at a dilemma today. So um, Ms. Claudia Mo's attitude demonstrated how um, people are standing in the way of the development of our country and our civilization. This is not about development. This is about our um, attitude or mental state. So if people like Claudia Mo um, stand in the way of the development of Hong Kong, they would be the real culprits for Hong Kong. So um, cultural integration has had a great impact on China. In the um, 
old dynasties, um, there were um, barbarian civilizations. They used to be looked down upon, but um, could we beat the um, minor civilizations by uh, in a battle? Of course not. The Bay Area is the same. And um, we might feel that our current systems or legal system are the best, and as such, we don't want any change. And um, the SAR government has always referred to um, presidents from other um, countries, but why can't we become the first? With enough research, we can be the first. We don't have to look to Singapore or copy other countries. If you um, introduce um, practices from elsewhere, they might not suit Hong Kong. Should we really um, follow this um, trend of Hong Kong independence? So um, Ms. Collier Mo said nothing would be changed in 50 years. Does it mean that nothing absolutely should change? Why? Are you speaking Chinese today, um, English today, and why aren't the electoral papers still in English? Um, Hong Kong was ceded and it became a um, meeting point of East and West, and other cultures were also internalized. Mr. Deng Xiaoping um, talked about 50 uh, and then changed 15 years in order to have to incorporate these changes, but you are the ones who are standing in the way, Mr. Leng Shishan. I'd like to thank Mr. Jeffrey Lam for moving this motion to allow us to um, offer our views on the development of the Bay Area. This discussion is rather late because the Bay Area idea was promoted two years ago. And we are entering the third stage in planning the Bay Area, and very soon new plans will be announced. At this crucial juncture, LegCo is able to offer views to the government, and this is very important. The um, Bay Area consists of 9 plus 2, with the two refers to Hong Kong and Macau. As Stephen Ho said, if some people feel that Hong Kong does not have to be integrated into the Bay Area, so it will there will only be nine cities left. The um, total population of the Bay Area is more than 69 million, and the population is ever rising. The um, growth last year was 1.5 million. In other words, the um, geology, economy, and environment of the Bay Area can accommodate a rising population. In the next five to ten years, the population will continue to rise. It might exceed 100 million people. That is why I feel that this development is pivotal to the national strategy. I need to stress the importance of the economy because some pandemics and um, like Ms. Claudia Mo would say that we would become one of the cities of the mainland. Hong Kong cannot allow this to happen. I believe even the central people's government would not want Hong Kong to become a mainland city because under um, one country, two systems, we are unique from other cities. We have our own benefits and edge, and these should be retained, or else Hong Kong cannot play its unique role. And that way, the um, Bay Area cannot become a first-class Bay Area. 
apart from a big population, productivity at the Bay Area is also very strong. The GDP is um, 10, tri 10 um, trillion dollars, and the um, GV growth has been 7 percent. A few years down the road, we would surpass the Tokyo Bay, and the um, revenue would exceed Canada. So we should be very confident towards the Bay Area and we should have high hopes for the future. Under the leadership of Mr. Jeffrey Lam, LegCo members visited Bay Area cities including Shenzhen, Shenzhen, Foshan, Zhongshan, etc. Like Mr. Vincent Chang said, we visited a youth innovation center in Foshan I heard about the um, dreams of a girl who created her own business in Foshan. She used to work in um, movie and TV editing. Now um, she is going to tap into the Bay Area market and hopefully um, she can um, create her own future. Even though um, she did not share, share how she is faring now, I trust that a lot of young people want to chase their dreams in the Bay Area. So um, under century, this would require our efforts as well. We need to um, secure better policies in the mainland to allow these people to live and thrive. We talked about a one-hour living circle in the Bay Area. In the um, NPC conference and the um, political consultative committee, the DAB raised certain suggestions, and I won't go into those, but the SAR government is obliged to um, come up with better infrastructure for people who chase their dreams on the mainland. Dr. Elizabeth Quad raised a very good idea. We should provide healthcare services in the mainland for Hong Kong people. This is essential because we want to um, use reliable Hong Kong services wherever we go. So the SAR government should angle for um, better infrastructure for Hong Kong people living in the Bay Area. Thank you. Mr. Holden Chow. Thank you, Madam Deputy. First, I would like to thank Mr. Jeffrey Lam for moving this motion so that we can fully discuss the Bay Area and how Hong Kong can integrate better with the Bay Area and a plan for the future development of our city. In the process of developing Bay Area in the initial stage, the DAB met with the Guangdong authorities and our liaising with them, we emphasized that, say, in the Bay Area, is if there is going to be major development, now Hong Kong people can consider to work, start up a business there or live there. If they want to do that, then we have to communicate with the Guangdong authorities to uh, strive for the best conditions um, for Hong Kong people to provide convenience for people who live and work there. So I would like to reiterate several points here because the government official is here today and I hope that you can reflect our, my views to the CPG. First is about 
uh, people working on the mainland paying tax. Now, for the 183 limitation uh, now, uh, we hope relaxation can be made so that Hong Kong people uh, can be incentivized uh, to work on the mainland. They would be um, incentivized uh, to work in the mainland. That's number one. Number two, we also said that in the Guangdong authorities, there are um, sole proprietorships. And Hong Kong people are taking part in those business models as well. But there are still some limitations. Say, for example, in terms in the area of franchising business, right now, Hong Kong sole proprietorships are not allowed to take on franchising business. So we hope that the authorities can reflect our views to the central authorities and our ask for relaxation so that more opportunities can be provided to Hong Kong people. I also joined the joint panel duty visit, and I am glad to hear this piece of information. And we hope that we can, uh, the maximum convenience can be provided to Hong Kong people. And the Guangdong authorities have responded to our request. And for Hong Kong young people working on the mainland, the Guangdong authorities said that they needed a work permit in the past, and they are, no, they are going to cancel that requirement. So Hong Kong people uh, will be provided with more convenience to work on the mainland, and administrative procedures have been streamlined. I hope that the Guangdong authorities can do more in that regard so that Hong Kong people can live, work, and start up their business in the Bay Area. Now, during the duty visit, um, I, I saw this for the Dongguan uh, Technology uh, Base. I mean, it was very impressive. There was this Songshan Lick uh, Export Park. I understand that the I and T development model is totally different from Hong Kong's. For that uh, Song Shan Lick Export Park, apart from grooming talents, they will try to um, arrange financing for enterprises, provide the financing channels, and and um, on top of R and D um, support, if say um, certain parts of the uh, products uh, could not be obtained, then the um, authorities could help them source such parts. So for this park in Dongguan, ha it, ha it is a um, powerful uh, supply base, and uh, one-stop service is provided. Hong Kong uh, universities, including the science, uh, um, the Poly U and University of Science and Technology, uh, we found that uh, some students for these universities, after they've done some research in Hong Kong for a t for a certain time, they would go to Dongguan to continue with their R and D, and also the production of their products are also taking place in Dongguan. And the reason is simple because they are providing one-stop service from finance show, from financing, uh, product design, and uh, production. All these uh, uh, processes are being supported through one-stop service. Now, Hong Kong has been talking about developing INC all the time. We have to think about this. If you are, we were to become a manufacturing base now compared to Dongguan, we are definitely lacking behind. And what we can do only is to uh, capitalize our, on our strengths and advantages, for example, our protection for IPR, our, our talents in our R&D, etc. Now, can we try to integrate these strengths uh, with those in the mainland? In other words, after we've done our R&D, then the production can take place in the Bay Area. 
Now, only by this、um, can we really have a way out for our future. So I hope that our R and D projects can integrate further with the Bay Area、um, initiatives. And if we do that, I think there can be a way out for Hong Kong. So I speak, Madam Deputy,、uh, Mr. Wang Ting Huang. Thank you, Madam Deputy. The development plan of、uh, Bay Area will be promulgated soon. I'm looking forward、uh, to it and the specific contents. Of the plan, so there will be、uh, clearer directions to be set for the development of the、um, Bay Area, especially in INT. INT、uh, is in every way related to industrial development, and、uh, the emergence of INT and、um, creative industries will help.、Uh, Transform our traditional industries, and INT will also drive、uh, reindustrialization, which will,、uh, which is an important segment of the continuous development of industries in Hong Kong. Last week, the Lausanne Institute of Management has、um, came up with the latest ranking. Hong Kong has lost out to the U.S. by 0.8 point, and we are placed as second.、Uh, there are two reasons. INT infrastructure ranking has dropped for Hong Kong, and President Xi Jinping,、uh, in response to a number of uh, scientists' uh, uh, requests in Hong Kong, has、um, res responded. And expressed a concern、uh, to issues including、um, national funding of、uh, R and D、um, projects in Hong Kong, etc. And he had issued a directive saying that、uh, the mainland is supporting Hong Kong to be developed into I N T center, and that will bring, bring advantages to Hong Kong. R and D. Centers and universities in Hong Kong can apply for central funding of the country. And Hong Kong's R and D strengths can be、um, organically integrated with the Bay Area strengths. So these、uh, provide favorable conditions for the production of R and D efforts in Hong Kong. So this provides、um, a great support to Hong Kong developing into an I and T center. So DAP suggests that. Hong Kong can apply for the CBG to the CBG for a、uh, NNT center of Hong Kong to be established in the Bay Area, and we can、um, produce world class、uh, original products there. And as a result,、uh, we can further promote INT development in Bay Area, and we can have synergy with. Uh, cities in the PR、uh, in the Bay Area, and we can have collaboration between the uh, research, uh, government, business, and community. And through big data, accreditation systems, etc., we can help、uh, the developing Bay Area as a smart city cluster. Apart from INT, I also、uh, recognize the importance of the Bay Area for.、Um, Creating the synergy among different cities in the Bay Area. And last week, there was a latest measure launched for the Guangdong Free Trade Zone, and it supports Hong Kong and Macau integrating into the mainland economy. And by 2020, there will be a demonstration zone of、uh, Guangdong, Hong Kong, Macau to be built, and there will be further liberalisation of service, trade and services. On I and T financing and youth development,、uh, specific measures have been proposed. How、um, there will also be a pilot scheme on mutual recognition of different professions among the three places, and also R and D funding、uh, will also be available to the three places. So it's a, it is indeed high time for us to seize hold of the opportunities in front of us. So DB 
uh, proposes that uh, the functions of, say, um, Trade Development Council should be enhanced, and there should be consolidation of the information platforms, um, and there should be a, a standardized uh, platform to be built to provide an information database for enterprises in areas like uh, financing channels, etc. Uh, consultancy services should also be provided, and the uh, different cities in the Bay Area should jointly establish certain offices to study into reducing tax for the enterprises and formulating targeted tax concession measures and provide real help to those enterprises having a, a heavy tax burden. And the Guangdong authorities can uh, cut its tax rate and and also a way for a value added tax for um, small taxpayers and more flexible profits tax system should be uh, launched to promote industrial development and there should be mutual recognition of qualifications and efforts should be made to crack down on um, activities on infringing patents and copyrights and um, administrative arrangements should be streamlined and and uh, manpower and administrative costs sh should also be slashed. Uh, different cities in the Bay Area have their own uniqueness and we have room to collaborate in different areas and we should try to create the favorable conditions whereby different cities can give full play to their own advantages. We should complement each other. We should um, 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 make contributions to the nation, and we should be more proactive and take part actively in the whole initiative. And I look forward to um, your proposals on how to um, take forward the initiative and how we can establish a world-class Bay Area and we can still um, try to keep our uh, economic competitive edge. Mr. Alvin Young, thank you, Madam Deputy. Madam Deputy, I went on the study tour to the Bay Area. I spent three days and two nights there, and we could see that in terms of economic planning and INT, there have been developments by leaps and bounds on the mainland. I was in touch with many officials, and I could see that they were able to make use of the complementarity of the advantages of the different cities in the Bay Area, and they have a lot of expectations and plans to do this. It is good to see it and to feel it for myself. This trip does allow me to understand more the economic competition in the region. Hong Kong, of course, cannot just work for itself in the face of global competition. We must have regional cooperation in order to increase our own competitiveness. The Bay Area development is promoted by the central authorities, and this will be a kind of regional cooperation. It is an opportunity for Hong Kong, but at the same time, there are challenges. We must think deep and hard about what we should do. Ever since the central authorities talked about the concept of the Bay Area and the work of the government last year, we have heard inside and also outside the chamber a lot of praises. And that is uh, under the planning of the central authorities, there will be different plans for economic integration in the country. And the Bay Area um, is going to be one of the focuses. The central authorities and local governments are going at full steam to promote this program. And I believe we must uh, talk about our concerns and worries about the Bay Area. Mr. Zhang Xiaoming in Sichuan uh, talked about the four important directives uh, that the central authorities is issuing for Hong Kong. He said that we should emphasize one country and we must respect two countries, uh, two systems, and also there are three tariff zones with three currencies. He also directed officials that we should think in other people's shoes, and we must particularly respect the views of the SAR government. Therefore, when we look at the Bay Area, we should not just heap praises on the Bay Area development. On the contrary, we must think deeply into a few issues. And when we scrutinize plans related to the Bay Area, we must think hard and deep about these issues. First of all, 
how can we safeguard the advantages of one country, two systems? Last July, we signed the uh, framework agreement with 13 clauses. The most important clause is regional integration. But then Hong Kong people are so afraid when they hear this word integration. We have co-location and there will be the mainland port area, which is a jurisdictional area of the mainland. And then there is always budget overrun. And it is also said that even the judiciary should uh, go into not division of labor, but cooperation with the other arms of government. And it is said that we will be swallowed by the one country. Mr. President, well, people apply a conspiracy theory when you say that we should integrate with the country. Well, even if there is economic integration and benefits will be brought to Hong Kong people, but then in terms of culture, in terms of society, Hong Kong may have to pay a high price. Hong Kong people are not really uh, proactive about integration, and that is understandable. And that is why the SARG must take action to prove to Hong Kong people that even if in the days to come there will be more economic integration, Hong Kong will not compromise our advantages and characteristics under one country, two systems. Mr. President, politically I may be over worried, but then let us put politics aside. Will economic integration really benefit Hong Kong? We don't know. Let us look at the competition for talents. If Bay Area is developed, what policies can the Hong Kong SARG do to retain people in Hong Kong, or should we just export our good people to the Bay Area? This is a paradox. When I took this trip to the Bay Area, what impressed me most was that the main, mainland government and enterprises are doing so much in order to tra attract Hong Kong people to work there. The Hong Kong economic environment is spearheaded by large conglomerates, but then on the contrary, the mainland has a lot of um, resources, including financial resources, and we people from Hong Kong are going there. And in the end, the Hong Kong USD should be um, making research into drones, but now it is uh, handed over to the mainland. And they are uh, recruiting Hong Kong academics with a seven digit salary. Let us look at Tianhai. Uh, it has a special profits tax policy. And it allows over a hundred Hong Kong startups to take root in Tianhai. This is fierce competition for Hong Kong. And what policies, what strategies do we have in Hong Kong to retain people and keep them in Hong Kong? Such policies are shrinking, and we don't see more proactive policies to help retain people in Hong Kong. If we just dive into the Bay Area. Do we win or lose? Are we going to win or lose in the end? We understand that in the regional competition area, we, of course, have our own advantages. And that is our political status under one country, two systems. We have judicial independence. We have a complete and mature legal system. We have a mature financial system. We also have universities and people recognized worldwide. And Hong Kong never fears free competition. But then if you look at all over the world, um, successful regional cooperation has to come from the bottom. Let us look at the Bay Area in on the west coast of the U.S. Now, if the Bay Area is going to be charted by the central authorities and roads are assigned to different cities and the advantages of some cities will be sacrificed, that is not something we want to see. When the SARG has the latest information, you must divulge them to society. And if there is going to be any cooperation plans in the Bay Area, you should announce them as soon as they are avail available so that the Council and Hong Kong people can monitor those plans to see what the pros and cons are. Dr. Pierre Chan. I'd like to thank Mr. Jeffrey Lam for proposing this motion. I certainly support the development of the Bay Area and the um, opportunities enjoyed by Hong Kong. After the handover, we realized the importance of one country, two systems. So my, I will keep my speech short. In the uh, fourth paragraph of my amendment, I talked about safeguarding professional autonomy in accordance with the basic law, promoting professional development ex exchanges. I'd like to explain why I'm proposing this amendment. 
in terms of mutual recognition of professional qualifications. Um, it existed before the Anhover for doctors, and um, there was mutual recognition of qualifications with the UK and Commonwealth countries. We realized that um, there would be handover, and that's why in 1995 the um, regulations were amended, and there was no longer mutual recognition, and we introduced our own examinations. And this shows that we realized the significance of the handover and one country, two systems. There is no longer mutual recognition of qualifications with Commonwealth countries. We also realized that we must maintain communication exchanges with the mainland, and that's why um, we are paying attention to the developments of mutual recognition. Um, there is still much room for improvement on the recognition of professional qualifications. When there are differences in the recognition of professional qualifications, we must be prudent in um, dealing with mutual recognition. In other words, the recognition goes both ways. We have seen on the news that there are differences in the um, recognition of different qualifications, for example, whether photography is allowed on court and so on. Hong Kong is a leading international city because we have very um, stringent verification or recognition of qualifications. That's why I want to promote professional development and exchanges to benefit mainland and Hong Kong people. And this is on the premise of safeguarding professional autonomy in accordance with the basic law. My speech is very short. But I hope members realize that um, professional qualifications and the recognition is very important. In the Bay Area developments, many of our doctors and professional groups have taken part in the process. We are positive and we certainly support the development. Thank you. Mr. Chen Chung Tai. Thank you. Talking about a policy or a motion on the Bay Area, I would say that you're inviting or a trap, trying to trap Hong Kong people. We must stay alert. In terms of policy and objective, I can say that for Hong Kong people, they are trying to duplicate Hong Kong and um, aggrandize Hong Kong. And I can let you know the background. In the 1980s, there was the first reform and opening up policy. After 1978, there were two major reforms. One, the Cultural Revolution that went on for 10 years. The CCP or the country faced a phenomenon, and that is in terms of culture and ideology. They could not be more radical because there was the 10-year Cultural Revolution. The only choice was economic and high-speed economic development. Deng Xiaoping then decided that there should be reform and opening up to make use of the economy in order to save or to retain the legitimacy of the CCP rule. And at that time, Hong Kong became an important bridge, channel or window in terms of capital, skills and people. And so Hong Kong was invited to go to the country in order to manufacture this economic miracle. And I'm talking about the Pearl River Delta development. So the first um, policy was quite open. The uh, mainland needed capital. Hong Kong had it. And here, some of us um, among us in the chamber and also our parents might want to make use of a few years after 1989, thinking that there could be more opening up and more civilization after economic development. And because of that myth, 
you went to the mainland and you might made your first fortune. But that was quite okay because people were talking about money. But today, when we talk about the Bay Area policy, it is a second reform and opening up. We are not that transparent this time around because it is not just money. We are talking about power. In the Bay Area, do we have Hong Kong laws? And what will be the ex exercise of power like for the Hong Kong SALG in the Bay Area? Will it be? Will we become just a municipal unit? In other words, will the Bay Area be an extension of Hong Kong? This is the second reform and opening up policy, and we have to debate it, face up to it, and scrutinize it. But here, I would only make a simple analysis. Whether we talk about the legal system, the economic environment, the attraction of businesses, and immigration clearance and infrastructure, everything would be ready for you. And you may say here that it's very convenient. So let us go there. Let us grasp the economic opportunities. Well, in the end, it's a real estate project. The most important thing is to develop real property there. I believe the president would agree. But then, if you want to convince Hong Kong people to go there, if you cannot find a job, if you have difficulties making a living, Hong Kong young people go there and try to find an opportunity. There may be economic and medical networks to serve you. But as a matter of fact, as I said, um, this is the second reform and opening up, and this is not going to be a transparent kind of transaction. It is a matter of who is calling the shots, and the SLG is saying that we are going to have co-living, co-sharing. If there can be so many co's, uh, there wouldn't be so many conflicts between the mainland and Hong Kong. Therefore, talking about the construction of the Bay Area, I think they are actually duplicating Hong Kong. Because in the past 10, 20 years, the mainland would like to go global. But if you only rely on Shanghai and Guangzhou, it seems they cannot really go global. They need to rely on the Hong Kong dollar or Hong Kong systems, including the currency peg and even the Hong Kong stock exchange. But I would uh, refer this uh, and leave this to the functional constituency members. Now, China cannot go global. And Hong Kong doesn't want to be strangled, and therefore they want to duplicate Hong Kong. And then they wouldn't like Hong Kong to hold the purse strings of China. Say um, renminbi can flow out of China through Hong Kong, and in the end they want to um, swallow up Hong Kong. And it's easy, isn't it, geographically? We are just south of Shenzhen River. And now they will say the Bay Area can become Hong Kong, and in West Kowloon there is an area that will be uh, regarded as the mainland, and in the end Hong Kong people will find that there is no more Hong Kong, because in the end the Bay Area is going to aggrandize Hong Kong. Therefore, at this moment, if you are Hong Kong, uh, what should be in your mind? Well, it's easy to understand if it is transparent, but this time around we are talking about power, and so it's not so transparent. I hope Hong Kong people will see this clearly for themselves. Hong Kong enjoyed a glorious past. It is not because we are in a certain time zone geographically. It is not that we are well positioned on the map of China. It is because we had a free market, we have a freedom for the individual, we have individuals' rights. but. If we turn Hong Kong into the Bay Area, we are going to be trapping ourselves. Now, if it is going to be such uh, an advantageous project, going to uh, benefit so many people, why don't the rich and famous in Hong Kong go there first? Before 2047, I'm afraid that there will be no more Hong Kong. Last but not least, I hope you will not be misled and uh, be cheated by the worst uh, co-economic development, co-sharing, co-living, etc. Uh, the Bay Area is not going to flourish because it's, after all, a real property project. 
Mr. Shuka, fine. Thank you. In relation to this motion moved by Mr. Jeffrey Lam, that is uh, on strengthening regional collaboration and jointly building the Guangdong, Hong Kong, Macau Bay area, I wasn't going to speak because my fellow party member has spoken. However, Ms. Claudia Mo said that um, this motion is the most um, bootlicking in her life as legislator for six years. She made it sound like it is a very bad idea for Hong Kong. Bay Area is not something new. We have Tokyo Bay Area, New York Bay Area, and San Francisco Bay Area. I'm sure that Hong Kong people are very familiar with these three Bay Areas. Why is t Japan, U.S. so famous? Because when it comes to economic development, they are the leader. I would like to first speak about the Tokyo Bay Area. It has an area of 36,700 kilometers square. For New York, it's 21,400 um, kilometers square. And for um, San Francisco, 18,000 kilometers square. For Tokyo Bay Area, it has a GDP of In relation um, well for the Tokyo, Tokyo Bay area is the GDP of 1.86 trillion US dollars for New York is 1.45 trillion San Francisco 820 billion you as we all know that Hong Kong is a very small economy over the years we rely on um, export re-export re and capital if we sit on our laurel a lot of Hong Kong people it are very concerned that it will be marginalized. We're talking about um, the Bay Area, namely Hong Kong, Macau, the two administrative regions, as well as nine cities, Guangzhou, Shenzhen, Zhuhai, Foshan, Weizhou, Dongguan, Zhongshan, um, Jiangmen, Jiaoqing. There will be about uh, 68 million people with 56,000 kilometers square. For GDP, it can reach 1.38 trillion. We are comparable to these famous areas. Well, Hong Kong's economy looks good, but it's hard earned because we don't have our own production. When it comes to land, you all know that um, people, well, the government has been trying to find land for housing, and it's not easy. When it comes to job opportunities, there aren't many. If we don't, if we integrate into the Bay Area, our economic development will greatly improve. Say, for example, on the um, tourism as well as the retail and wholesaling. If we can expand into the one hour living circle. That means you can reach 68 million people within one hour. This will be a, this will further promote uh, our tourism industry as well as our retail and wholesale industry. There is another one. Innovation and creation, financial services, uh, real estate as well as manufacturing industry. I do believe that young people will find it easy to go to the Bay Area to find a career they like. Jeffrey Lam talked about a visit to the Bay Area. A number of um, major enterprises are headed by Hong Kong people who went to the mainland about a decade ago. They now 
operate companies uh, with uh, turnover of um, trillions of dollars or hundreds of billions of dollars. Vincent Chang, who is not here, talk. Uh, Chang Chong Tai, who is not here, talk about annexes uh, as well as threats. If we do not develop, yes, um, will be forgotten. This is a great opportunity with great transport is and connectivity. Why do we want to give up this opportunity? I know that uh, a lot of um, legislators, loyalists or not, are speaking for their constituency. I do think that uh, if that is the way, it will be a way that Hong Kong will benefit. You can't just uh, criticize, chastise, whatever it is when the word uh, country is mentioned. And that is not something Hong Kong people would like to see. Lastly, well, I have, uh, have some friends from the uh, furniture manufacturing industry. Well, some people mentioned about if they make a profit, they will have to pay tax to both places and whether tax rates can be reduced. Well, um, for import exports, I do think that um, arrangements can be made to help Hong Kong enterprises to find opportunities on the mainland. I thank Mr. Jerry Lam's motion and I support it. Thank you. Ma Fung Kwok. Mr. Ma Fung Kwok. President, I thank Mr. Jeffrey Lam for moving the motion so that we can talk about the Bay Area. Guangdong, Hong Kong, Macau Bay Area will be the fourth Bay Area. They have uh, economic development of 7%, Tokyo Bay Area, San Francisco Bay Area, New York Bay Area. Um, they have both, they've got, uh, got names. Uh, Tokyo is uh, real estate as well as the other two uh, is in relation to innovation. We have um, different cities with different uh, strength. Mr. Ma, do you have a phone near you? It's not on. We have advanced manufacturing industry in Guangzhou. We have uh, medical industry in the Dongguang. We have financial services in Hong Kong. So we have uh, all the uh, special characteristics of the other three Bay areas. There is huge potential, and this is the last train to uh, get on for the uh, economic development of our nation. There are a number of suggestions from the original motion as well as the amendment. The chief executive has said that uh, in accordance with the 13-5-year uh, plan, um, that Hong Kong will provide um, various services in the Bay Area. We can also do something about innovation and creative industry. In the policy address at the CE, undertook to use um, $50 billion to inject into the Innovation and Technology Fund to encourage startups. When it comes to innovation and creative industry, there is only a additional resource of $140 million to encourage Hong Kong artists and and creators to go to the Bay Area. And there is also the $1 billion creative, um, creative smart initiatives. Create some smart initiatives. Well, in relation to my sector, we do see that the Bay Area offers a lot of opportunities. There are 68 million people sharing the same language. As you, we all know that uh, for Hong Kong movies and um, TV shows, um, if they want to enter the uh, mainland market without Involvement of mainland uh, capital then is uh, seen as an overseas uh, project. So there needs to be some cooperation with mainland enterprises. There was a recent update of uh, SIPA, SIPA, but it fails to bring um, more benef benefits. Pub publishers will have to also work with mainland uh, companies, otherwise, they will be subject to a lot of restrictions. 
for the uh, cultural industry, they uh, also encounter lots of difficulties. Say, for example, complicated uh, customs uh, decoration procedures when it comes to props, and it's not easy to get approval of your script. When it comes to exchanges, um, well, they are only offered uh, accommodation and um, their expenses when it comes to transportation as well as uh, meal are not covered. Uh, there aren't many intermediaries that are familiar with the mainland market. Well, when, when there is resources, there can be a great enhancement of uh, training, enhancement, competition, and to build an audience. Hong Kong is an international city. Very often we have created um, a lot of good shows. This will inject uh, international um, vision into the Bay Area. It will also bring people together. I suggest to the administration to talk to the uh, central authorities uh, to relax uh, restri restrictions of entry of the um, TV movie industry to the Bay Area to ensure that uh, pr productions uh, can be shown at the same time in Hong Kong and mainland. And on the mainland, there can be pilot projects put in place in the Bay Area. In relation to the publishing industry, there should be more opening up in the Bay Area so that Hong Kong publishers can enter the industry on the mainland. In relation to cultural industry, there can be streamlining of uh, customs clearance to relax um, restrictions. There should be simplified um, immigration procedures for Bay Area and allow uh, new funds to be put into projects. There can also be um, corporations to organize the shows in the Bay Area. There can also be regular expos at the uh, Bay Area to promote exchange. In order to make all these happen, they have to make these happen in order to make good what the chief executive said in her policy address uh, to promote um, talent exchange so that we can um, uh, strengthen our influence. And I would like to reply to the original motion and amendments. A number of members have uh, made some suggestions uh, to facilitate Hong Kong people living uh, on the mainland. Someone said that, um, well, Hong Kong people can enjoy the full national treatment in the Bay Area. I don't agree with that. Because if you enjoy national treatment, you will have to fulfill your obligation. A, nas an, uh, a national may have to um, serve in the mili in the army, and then and it's not easy for them to leave the country. So I said that there should be uh, quasi a national treatment, so that they so that Hong Kong people can enjoy more flexibility. Someone suggests uh, Hong Kong people Hong Kong tax, and that is not perfect. That is not reasonable. The Hong Kong SAR government should talk to mainland authorities to avoid uh, double taxation. Hong Kong people only need to pay reasonable tax rate. I so submit. Thank you. Mr. Chen Pan. Thank you, President. I did not plan to speak, but I now have to address what Dr. Chen Chong Tai said. The um, Bay Area development is about cooperation and complementing each other. But um, Dr. Chang said that um, it's a plan to engulf Hong Kong, which is ridiculous. Earlier, a visit was was arranged for LegCo members. He did not uh, he did not uh, attend the visit because uh, if he did, he would have seen differently. He said Hong Kong does not enjoy a geographical edge. It's because of our freedom. If that's the case, Iceland should develop very well. I think um, he should revisit our development history. Our history has never deviated from mainland development. The um, 
rise and fall of the mainland has to do with the um, history of Hong Kong. He's a doctor, so he should do his homework. He should know what attributed to Hong Kong's success today. Under the arrangement of the um, Strategic Development Commission, I also visited the Bay Area and um, I see that a lot of um, planning was done for the play for the Bay Area. We visited corporations and they really want to work with Hong Kong. This is about working with each other, you know, things are positive. No one wants to um, engulf Hong Kong. Hong Kong can actually do a lot more. In Mr. Wu Chi Wai's amendment, he took out all the co collaboration and communication with the mainland and he sees the Bay Area as a challenge and he says threats should be turned into opportunities. If that is the attitude, how can we collaborate? Because he sees this as a risk itself, an opportunity. We do not see such um, neighboring developments as threats. They are actually opportunities. If you see everything as a threat, there's nothing you are going to do. One of my friends um, told me a few years back whether um, he should purchase a property. If he did, the prices might come down. So um, he dwelled on it while the property prices continue to rise. So um, with the um, rise of our neighbors, should we collaborate? That's the same dilemma, but if you dwell too much on it, you would um, fall behind others. Hong Kong enjoys its own edge and we have our own professional services and very often we still enjoy an edge. We should try to make the best use of our talents instead of demonizing the development. Many pandems have um, visited the Bay Area for themselves. I'm sure um, it would have made an impression on you. So I hope um, Dr. Chen Chong Tai can um, make a visit and try to understand more about the development. If he still wants to know more, he can get in touch with Mr. Jeffrey Lam. That would be more useful than. Um, throwing um, inaccurate arguments around. Does any other member wish to speak? Mr. Jeffrey Lam, you may now speak on the amendments. This time limit is five minutes. I'd like to thank the 14 members for moving amendments on the motion debate, strengthening regional collaboration and jointly building the Guangdong, Hong Kong, Macau Bay Area. I want to thank the 19 other members for speaking. It shows that we are pragmatic and we acknowledge the importance of the Bay Area to Hong Kong. As suggested by the motion debate title, the Bay Area requires collaboration and synergy and um, we need to call to the attention of the public and the businesses. However, many people are biased. They do not want to understand the idea and they are objecting for the sake of it. That's why um, you can never wake up someone who is pretending to sleep. With more understanding and exchanges, I hope that um, these thoughts would be um, driven away. The nine cities in the Bay Area have different roles. They have um, different pace of economic development. They have different cultures. It's not possible for one city to include all industries. 
of course, the SEL government should um, express its views actively, and we should um, fight for the most beneficial policies, and we should be more proactive. Meanwhile, we um, want the services to be complementary, and we want to maximize our edge, or else there would be um, a lack of resources. We do not want to politicize development issues. Mr. Jeffrey Lamb, you should speak on this amendment. I'm coming to that. And um, Hong Kong would suffer. So um, I do not support Mr. Wu Chi-Wai's amendment because Hong Kong would not um, support a, um, a a loss. So, um, so building or developing the Bay Area is not a zero-sum game, and um, we should um, complement our advantages because the people would still come into Hong Kong. And you cannot um, stop sh or, or say no to the sharing of resources. You if you resort to protectionism without trying to break barriers, then um, everything would be an empty talk. But no. It will not be conducive to flow of capital, talent, um, and goods. So in relation to Mr. Charles Mock and Mr. Pierre Chan's amendment in relation to the deletion of the uh, mutual um, qualification, mutual recognition, I don't agree with that. I do hope that uh, as time passes, uh, we will real we realize that uh, we need to put aside our differences to forge a consensus so that we can work together to have a world-class Bay Area. Thank you. Secretary for Constitutional and Mainland Affairs. President. 35 members spoke already, and they covered different areas, including innovation and technology, finance, professional services, trade, tourism, youth development, and convenience of life. This shows that the Bay Area developments are not just a strategy on regional economic development. It is also a key plan to improving livelihood. The plan would um, pave the development blueprint for the future of the Bay Area, and the plan would be um, more strategic in nature. To implement the plan, the SAR government will continue to work with the relevant CBG units, Guangdong Municipal Government and Macau SAR government. We will maintain communication and cooperation and propose specific and effective collaboration items and measures, and we will continue to listen to the society so that the measures can fit the needs of our stakeholders. As the plan is about to be published, I'd like to address some common themes raised by members today. As for the innovation and technology industrial chain in the Bay Area, turning the Bay Area into an international INT center is a key focus of the development of the area by Guangdong and Hong Kong. The SAR government and Shenzhen municipal government are working on a innov Hong Kong Shenzhen Innovation and Technology Park in the Lok Ma Chao Loop, and there would be a research collaboration base and relevant facilities on tertiary, on higher education, culture, and creativity. We also pay attention to our edge in R&D and inter internationalization by investing $10 billion in a medical technology innovation platform and AI and robotics INT platform. That way we can appeal to top R&D institutes and companies from the world and the mainland, and they would 
work with local universities and R&D institutes on um, middle to downstream R&D projects. Two weeks ago, President Xi issued an important instruction supporting the development of Hong Kong into an international INT technology center, including a new policy to allow Hong Kong universities and R&D institutions to apply for um, central financing for the technology projects, and Hong Kong can enjoy such subsidy. This would facilitate the um, collaboration between local and mainland technology talents so that they can, can and to participate in important national technology missions. And um, this, in order to increase the appeal of Hong Kong to technology talents, the ITB will launch a three year pilot technology talent import scheme to build more talents for Hong Kong. In, to facilitate the flow of people in the Bay Area, the SL government will work with the Shenzhen, Zhuhai, and Macau governments to ensure that the three new boundary crossing points would operate smoothly and the Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge BCP would operate around the clock. The SAR government will continue to use technology to raise the cap capabilities of the BCPs. As for Hong Kong talents who wish to develop in the mainland, the mainland and Hong Kong have been facilitating the import of professional services from Hong Kong to the main market under CEPA. Eligible Hong Kong citizens or professionals can take part in more than 40 professional and technical qualification examinations under CEPA in areas like architecture, engineering, legal services, accountancy, tourism, healthcare, etc. Hong Kong professional bodies and mainland regulators have also um, struck an, a mutual agreement on multiple qualifications, including securities and futures, accountancy, real estate, architecture, etc. We will also continue to facilitate the flow of people in the Bay Area and encourage Hong Kong talents to um, start their business or work in the Bay Area. The Guangdong government will soon implement the two batches of facilitation measures for Hong Kong and Macau residents in the mainland at the Bay Area. We will also angle for more convenience for Hong Kong people in the Bay Area in employment entrepreneurship, business making, etc. And in terms of rights, the um, customs at Hong Kong and mainland customs have launched the single e lock scheme in 2016 to um, minimize redundant inspections across the border and improve efficiency. In terms of the flow of information, we realize that some local telecom operators have launched telecom plans for the Bay Area and slash their roaming charges, and we believe that other telecom operators would follow suit according to market needs. As for the flow of capital and financial services, we will continue to explore developing the um, cross-boundary use of renminbi in the Bay Area, as well as the um, scope of operations. We will develop more financing channels and cross-boundary financial services to meet the needs of individuals and companies and facilitate the flow of capital in the Bay Area. We will also facilitate the um, establishment and co collaboration of financial institutions in two places, and we would try to um, relax the um, criteria of Hong Kong financial institutions enter entering the Bay Area so that more mainland FIs would be encouraged to set business in Hong Kong two weeks ago. The chief executive of HKMA talked about using the Bay Area as a pilot site and to um, implement cross-boundary mobile payment as soon as possible to facilitate Hong Kong people who want to open accounts in the mainland. In terms of tourism, last December, 11 cities in the Bay Area set up the Bay Area Cities Tourism Alliance to deepen collaboration in marketing, regulation, and sharing of tourism messages and promote sustainable development of tourism in the region. Members agree to design special or alternative travel routes for the Bay Area, and in November, the Hong Kong Tourism Board will launch promotion activities in Japan. The SAR government will continue to work with other members of the alliance and promote the Bay Area brand to the world.
finally, many members talked about prospects for young people in the Bay Area, Hong Kong. Youths are flexible and they have a global worldview and um, they are very important to our emerging industries, especially INT and culture and creative industries. The Bay Area developments would bring boundless opportunities for our young people and the SAR government set up a $300 million youth development fund and the um, young people can use the funds to um, start their businesses in the Bay Area. We would also step up publicity and promotion of the Bay Area developments to our young people. And after the implement or the publication of the plan, we would um, step up the publicity of the Bay Area to young people, including the focus of development in different cities, and this would facilitate Hong Kong people working, living, and studying in the mainland. That way, young people would understand their opportunities in the Bay Area context. The Bay Area development would better integrate Hong Kong into the National Development Plan and create new economic drivers and broaden our living spaces. Once again, I thank members for your valuable views. The SAR government will continue to play the roles of facilitator and promoter in helping Hong Kong companies and talents identify new opportunities, including coordination on the G2G level. Hopefully, we can achieve innovation in policy and create favorable conditions. Thank you very much. I now call upon Mr. Lo Kok to move an amendment. President, I move that Mr. Jeffrey Lam's motion be amended. I propose to question to you that the amendment moved by Mr. Lo be passed. I now put the question to you as stated. Will those in favor please raise their hands? Mr. Ray Chen claims the division of the baby rung for five minutes.
，開始表決。報請 begins。请核对所在。Please check your vote. There are no problems. Voting closes result displayed. Those from FC 29 present 22 for 4 against 2 abstention. Those from GC 30 present 16 for 9 against 5 abstention. Extension. I think the question is agreed by majority of each of the two groups of members. That is, those returned by FC and those by GC who are present. I declare the amendment passed. Ms. Starry Lee. President, I move that in the event of further div divisions being claimed at this meeting in respect of the strengthening regional collaboration and jointly building the Bay Area, Council shall proceed forth with the division after the bell has been rung for one minute. And I move the motion to you. The that is, uh, the motion moved by Ms. Starry Lee be passed. Those in favour, please raise their hands. Those against, please raise their hands. I think the question is agreed by majority of two groups of members. That is, those returned by GC and those by FC who are present and declare the amendment. The motion passed. In further events of um, divisions being claimed in relation to the motion, the bell be rung for one min minute before voting starts. Members have been informed that as Mr. Lowe's amendment has been passed, Doc, Mr. Charles Smog, Dr. Pierre Chen, and Mr. Wu Chiwai have withdrawn their amendments. Mr. Christopher Zhang, as Mr. Lowe's amendment has been passed, please move your revised amendment. President, I move that Ms. Jeffrey Lam's motion as amended by Mr. Lowe Wai copy further amended by my revised amendment. I now propose the question to you that the revised amendment moved by Mr. Christopher Jones be passed. I now put the question to you as stated. Those in favour, please raise their hands. Mr. Ray Chen claims that the division bell be rung for five minute uh, for one minute. Voting begins. Please check your votes. If there are no questions, voting closes. Result displayed. Members returned by FC twenty eight present twenty two for three against two abstention. Those by returned by GC thirty present fifteen for nine against five abstention. The question is not agreed by majority of the two groups of members. Though that is those returned by FC and those by G C who are present. Mr Junis Young as Mr Lloyd Cox's uh, amendment has been passed, please move your revised motion. I move that uh, Mr Jeffrey Lamb's motion as uh, amended by Mr Lowe be further amended by my revised amendment. And I propose to question to you that the revised amendment moved by Ms. Young be passed. And I put the question to you, those in favour, please raise their hands. Mr Rachel claims that the division bell be around for one minute.
Hoji Bilku. Voting begins. Please check your votes. If there are no questions, voting closes result displayed. Members returned by FC28 present 22 for 3 against 2 abstention. Those by GC30 present 16 for 9 against 5 abstain. The question is agreed by uh, the members of the two groups of two members, that is those by FC and those who are returned by GC who are present declare the amendment passed. Mr. Yu C. Wing, as uh, Mr. Loi Kwok and Ms. Eunice Young's qu amendments have been passed, you may now move your revised amendment. President, I move that Mr. Geoffrey Lam's motion as amended by Mr. Loi Kwok and Ms. Eunice Young be further amended by my revised amendment. And I'll put the question to you that the revised amendment moved by Mr. Yu C. Wing be passed. I put the question to you. Those in favor, please raise their hands. Mr. Rajan claims the division bell would bung for, five, for one minute. Voting begins. Please check your votes. Any questions? If there are none, there is, there is none to result displayed. Voting closes. Those returned by FC 28, present 22, for 4 against 1 abstention. Those from G, uh, GC 30, present 16, for 9 against 5 abstention. I think the question is agreed by a majority of two of the crew group two groups of members. I declare the amendment passed, Mr. Tony Zer. As Mr. Lo Wei Kwok, Ms. Eunice Young, and Mr. UC Wong's, UC Wing's amendments have been passed, you may now move your revised amendment. President, I move that Mr. Jeffrey Lam's motion is amended by Mr. Lo Wei Kwok, Ms. Eunice Young, and Mr. UC Wing be further amended by my revised amendment. Well, the Bay Area is a fair lady. Of course, gentlemen would uh, want to pursue her. And if they can't get her, of course, it will not be difficult. It will not be easy for them. Mr. Tony Jay, you may only speak on the revised amendment, not anything else. Yes. No, I'm talking about the wording. Your wording. So I asked the Hong Kong SAR government to try to get um, Hong Kong people to enjoy the Hong Kong people, Hong Kong law. No, this is not your revision. Three points. I did. Three points. One of them is about national treatment. No, it's your words. Mr. Tony Tse, you can only speak on why you. Amen make those amendments. I've only made three amendments. Namely to get mainland authorities to offer national treatment for Hong Kong people in the Bay Area and to uh, put in place a pilot scheme of Hong Kong people Hong Kong tax and to uh, strive for mainland authorities to relax the qualification assessment threshold for Hong Kong enterprises, including the inclusion of the Hong Kong business credentials as one of the assessment factors. These suggestions aim at Mr. Tony, dare you please sit down. You have uh, abused your uh, three minutes. And I put the question to you that is the revised amendment moved by Mr. Tony Debbie passed.
And I put the question to you as stated. Mr. Ray Chen claims the division. The bell will be rung for one minute. Voting begin. Please check your votes. If there are no questions, voting closes results are displayed. Those from FC27 present 16 for 4, 4 against 6 abstention. Those by GC30 present 8 for a 9 against 13 abstention. The question is not agreed by majority of two groups of members, that is those by FC and those by GC, who are present. I declare the amendment negatived. As Mr. Michael Chen is not here, we will not deal with his amendment. Mr. Tony, Mr. Martin Leo. As the amendments of Mr. Loi Kwok, Ms. Eunice Young, and Mr. Yu Si Wing have been passed, you may now move your revised amendment. President, I move that Mr. Jeffrey Lam's motion as amended by Mr. Loi Kwok, Ms. Eunice Young, and Mr. Yu Si Wing be further amended by my, mis my by my revised motion. I now put, propose the question to you that the revised amendment moved by Ms. Martin will be passed. And I put the questions you as stated. Mr. Ray Chen claims the division of bail be wrong for one minute. Voting begins. Please check your votes. If there are no questions, voting closes result displayed. Members returned by FC 27, uh, present 22 for 3 against 1 abstention. Those by FC 30, present 16 for 9 against and 5 abstention. The question is agreed by majority of two groups of members. That is those by FC and those by GC. The president has declared the amendment. Passed. Mr. Kenny Flung as the amendment of Mr. Low Kwok, Low Wai Kwok, Ms. Yunish Young, Mr. Yu Si Wing, and Mr. Martin Liu have been passed. Please now move your revised amendment. President, I move that Mr. Jeffrey Lam's motion as amended by Mr. Low Wai Kwok, Ms. Yunish Young, Mr. Yu Si Wing, and Mr. Martin Liu. Sorry, Mr. Lung, you have read out Christopher Jung's name. This shouldn't be that. Sorry. Those, sir, bye. Be further amended by my revised motion. I now propose to question to you that the revised amendment moved by Mr. Kenny Flan be passed. And I put the question to your statement. Mr. Ray Chen claims the division by will be wrong for one minute.
Hoa Chi Biêu Khiển. We now proceed to the vote. Mr. Ken Lang, are you going to vote? Voting is closed. The results are shown. From the FC's 27 present, 11 for 8 against 6 abstentions. From the GC's 30 present, 12 for 11 against 7 abstentions. The question is not agreed by a majority, respectively, of the two groups of members present. I declare the amendment negatived. Mr. Ho Kai Ming, as the amendments of Dr. Lo Ai Kwok, Ms. Yong Hai Yan, Mr. Yu Si Wing, and Mr. Martin Liao have been passed, you may move your revised amendment. President, I move that Mr. Jeffrey Lam's motion as amended by Dr. Lo Ai Kwok, Ms. Yun Si Yong, Mr. Yu Si Wing, and Mr. Martin Liao be further amended by my revised amendment. I now propose a question to you that the revised amendment moved by Mr. Jonathan Ho be passed. I now put the question to you as stated. Mr. Chan claims the division. The bell will ring for one minute. We now proceed to the vote. Please verify your votes. Voting is closed. The results are shown. From the FCs, 27 present, 21 for, 4 against, 1 abstention. From the GCs, 30 present, 16 for, 9 against, 5 abstentions. The question is agreed by a majority of each of the two groups of members present. I declare the amendment passed. Ms. Um, Dr. An Chang, since the uh, amendments of um, Dr. Lai Kok, Mr. Yong Hao and Mr. Yu Si Wing, Mr. Martin Liao has been passed, you may move your revised amendment. President, I move that. Jeffrey Lam's motion as amended by Dr. Loy Kwok, Ms. Yong Hoi, and Mr. Yu Si Wing, Mr. Martin Liao be passed. I now propose the question to you that the um, revised amendment moved by Dr. An Chang be passed. I now put the question to you as stated. Mr. Ray Chan claims the division. The bell will ring for one minute. We now proceed to the vote. Please check your votes. The voting is closed. The results are shown. From the FCs, 27 present, 21 for 4 against 1 abstention. From the GCs, 30 present, 16 for 9 against 5 abstentions. The question is agreed by a majority of each of the two groups of members present. I declare the amendment passed. Mr. Jiming, as the amendments of Dr. Lo Ai Kwok, Ms. Yong Hai Yan, Mr. Yu Si Wing, Mr. Martin Liao, Mr. Ho Kai Ming, and Dr. An Chang have been passed, you may move your revised amendment. President, I move that Mr. Jeffrey's land motion as amended by 
Dr. Lawai Kwao, Ms. Yong Hai Yan, Mr. Yu Si Wing, Mr. Martin Liao, Ms. O Kai Ming, and Dr. Cheng Lai Wan be further amended by my revised amendment. I now propose a question to you that the revised amendment moved by Mr. Ji Ming be passed. Mr. Ray Chan claims division. The bell will ring for one minute. We now proceed to the vote. Please check your vote. The results are displayed. From the FC's 27 present, 21 for, 3 against, 2 abstentions. From the GC's 30 present, 16 for, 9 against, 5 abstentions. The question is agreed by a majority of each of the two groups of members present. I declare the amendment passed. Mr. Jeffrey Lamb, you still have 1 minute 33 seconds to reply. Then the debate will come to a close. Mr. Jeffrey Lamb, the um, Bay Area has plenty of resources, and um, there will be plenty of opportunities for Hong Kong, and there would be a lot of investments, opportunities, as well as jobs. I hope members will support it. I now put the question to you that the motion moved by Mr. Jeffrey Lamb, as amended by Dr. Loi Kuo, Ms. Yong Hao Yan, Mr. Yu Si Wing, Mr. Ma Tan Liao, Mr. Ho Kai Ming, Dr. An Chang, and Mr. Jimmy Ng be passed. Mr. Ray Chen claims a division. The bell will ring for one minute. We now proceed to the vote. Please check your votes. Voting is closed. The results are shown. From the FC's 27 present, 21 for, 4 against. From the GC's 30 present, 16 for, 14 against. The question is agreed by majority, respectively, of each of the two groups of members present. I declare the motion as amended passed. The council is adjourned till the 6th of June at 11 a.m.